Hi and welcome. I'm Caroline Best with the Dow Horsemanship and this is Sundance. And today we're just going to do a film, some video of Sundance and I basically checking the perimeters, the fencing. So I am showing this video because I always ask my horses to help me just as if I had a ranch. So whether we need to go get horses and I ride them out and, and carry a bunch of halters with me, or in this case, we're gonna check the fence, see if there's any cracked boards and see where the sticks are. And most specifically, <coughs> this is an important video for Sundance and me because we haven't ridden, oh my gosh, in months. And I'm bringing her out at Liberty, as you all can see. Come here, babe. Come on, come on, sweetie. I had to get you out here and close the door. And she's pretty dirty. It's winter and we're very dusty and she has her winter coat on. All right, so we're gonna come on out here. I'll get on out in the pasture. Good morning. Oh, Riley girl, you're so happy. Happy dog. I call that the happy dog dance. So this video again, it's just showing you guys a day in the life um, here with me and my horses and what it's like to be here and whatever comes up, how I handle it. Like I said, I haven't ridden Sundance in, in months and I know Legend's probably going to scream and he can come out and follow us and he probably will. I am anticipating some buddy sour behavior between Sundance and Legend. Come here, baby girl. Thank you, sweet girl. Oh, my girl. Uh, obviously, our connection is excellent. Our relationship is excellent. I am really impressed with how soft she is. And this is a much better response from her tacking up than I've ever seen, ever. So what does that say? And I'm going to jump up on the fence. As you can see, I've got some area here that I can use. It's not a very safe fence. But my horses are awesome at <laughs> coming to get mama. <laughs> Thank you, baby girl. Do you see how often she looks at me? That's that connection piece that I always talk about, even when you get on. You know, she's always thinking about me. And so this is my feedback. I can already tell that things are just awesome right now. And my horse wants to be with me. Come on, you got to stretch. You're tight. So I'd like to be able to go on a loose rein, I'm, and I'm pretty, pretty loose. Come on, babes. You got to walk faster. Come on. And I know you get tight in the hind end. And I talk about this through my riding basics videos to follow my focus and follow my seat. And I don't want to have to be convincing her. So there's legend screaming and there's my tap on both sides of her shoulder to say, let's go. You can poop and move. She's one of my schoolmasters and I'm not putting up with any BS. I shouldn't have to. So let's say, wow, we haven't gone up here in eight months. I mean, she's up here by herself all the time, but we haven't ridden up here in eight months. And really? So this is a threshold and I respect this threshold, even though she's a schoolmaster. There's many things I could do in addition to what I'm doing right now. But right now, this is the first thing I'm gonna do is always take the pass, path of least resistance, meaning I'm not gonna fight with my horse right now. I've given her the respect, I've honored to stop. <clears throat> I'm gonna hang on a little bit more with my legs. And you can see her going sideways, and she shouldn't be. So I'm gonna get on her case right now. <clears throat> And I'm gonna get on her case because I know my horse and I know my ability. And she needs to trust me. So how many of us come across this? Sundance, my God, you walk up here with the herd all the time. She's up here all the time. Isn't that crazy? But she never has to pay attention to it. That's, the, that's one of the points I wanna make. Now she has to pay attention to this area because she's just with me. So this is no different than when you're riding on a trail with a group and then you decide to go out on the same trail by yourself. And a lot of times it's not a very good experience. My lunging method asks them to think and it asks them to respond energetically with me. This is awesome to be able to show this. So yeah, she's my schoolmaster and this is life. 
This is what happens when you don't get away from their comfort for eight months. <clears throat> she is my number one trail horse. Holy cow, trust me on that. And so we have this conversation right now where I go, yep, I, I legitimately see what you're anxious about. Um, <clears throat> I also know that it's compounded her, not anxiety with this area, but her trepidation is compounded by the fact that she's left her comfort and safety. This is a horse, you guys. This is an awesome horse too, but these are horses. You gotta learn how to work with them. Pick your battles, not that I wanna have a fight. Look, the head's much more relaxed. And I'm not saying that if the neighbor's dog came running out, she's not gonna jump 10 feet. I am prepared for that. And I'm bareback for God's sakes. That's the hardest thing for people. You know, there's so many videos out there on how to handle spooky horses. We're gonna be getting into some more of those videos ourselves and how to handle a horse that's barn sour, buddy sour. Where's Riley? Uh, she's just right here. Oh, good. She's with us. Okay. I'm gonna make sure. Real bib. So if the camera just wants to show all this property, and just this, this is a 10-acre field here. We've got 20 acres. Good girl. We've got cows all around us. Checking the fences. I don't want to be micromanaging my horse when I have either relaxation on my mind or we've got <laughs> a startle or we've got a purpose. Patience is a virtue. We're just going to hang tight for a little bit. It's good for you. Good girl. Nope. I'm not going to, don't ask again. Or not even ask, don't take it again. Thank you. That's your ask. So this is good. I'll take advantage of this opportunity to work on deeper trust, her trusting me. And that's what it's all about because she's not sure. She doesn't like pigs. And so she's asking, are we ready to go, mom? Can we go? No. Nope. And stop asking. <clears throat> I'll let you know. So let's say she couldn't keep her feet still. So busy feet is a busy mind. I'd get off. And again, I would do some of the lunging practices that I teach specifically to get the mind, not just to move her feet, you guys, and exhaust her. It has nothing to do with that. It's to get her mind engaged and to release endorphins. And that's part of my work and my method. So the nose of a horse, the front end of a horse is in control of flight. So when they push through the bit or push through the nose right now, snatching, that's because she's testing to see if she's got control of her flight mechanism. Yep, all of that Sundance is anxiety, but her blowing is a release. When horses blow out, that's a release, you guys. So I'm helping her with this threshold. Nope, you're not going to turn her, your eye. You're going to trust me. But believe me, if it was any worse than this, I would get off. Remember, I'm bareback. Hey, hey, hey. You have to listen to my aid still, okay? You can't push against my leg. A little bit of it can be a brat. You know, trust me, that'll come in too, where she's just like, I don't want to leave my side of the farm, my comfort. Believe me, if that were the case, then I would, I'd work her butt. So definitely, when you're preparing your horse for trail riding, leaving the property, leaving their comfort, it's really important that they listen to your aids. And that's why we do so much arena work to prepare horses. It develops them mentally and emotionally. I'm going to ask her to stop with my seat. And that didn't work so well. And she's tight. Don't touch the camera. But we're, that's a threshold. So we're going to back up to that threshold or turn and face it and say get comfortable here pick pick all the areas and pick <laughs> what you're willing to uh let go of good girl bibs all right i'm going to ask her to stop again with my seat with my seat first and then i'm going to get on her case about it so if she hadn't listened to my seat I get stronger by smacking the shoulders. 
So again, this is not going to be 100% perfect today. <laughs> we would have to be doing a lot more of this. And I talked about how I would do things differently if I had a horse that wasn't as well trained or a horse that was more explosive, whether out of fear or frustration. <coughs> Good girl, Bips. Oh yeah, we are mighty relaxed. So I hope you enjoyed this. I look forward to your comments. And if you guys want to learn how to train your horse from start to finish and get your horse like Sundance and work through so many challenges, behaviors that you're not sure of, um, everything, join my mastery membership program. It is from start to finish, 13 courses, hundreds of step-by-step -step instructional videos. May you always be one with your horse. And I'll see you in the comments. Oof.